Yep. There comes a time where you just have to call it quits. Yep. His time. It, it, it was today. Yep. And, yeah, your time. It will come somewhere down in a couple years, too. But you don't have to worry about that now. I mean, what? What are you looking at me like that for? Hey. He... He got, he got a lot of work done around here. Don't get me wrong. He was no punk. He just, he was tired. You're going to get tired too. Well, you are still. You're going to last a little bit longer, but hey, I'll take you out the same way, all right? Why not? It was perfectly fine the way he went out. He, he went out like a champ. Well, he didn't go out like no punk, that's for sure. You ready to get to work? You better put out because if you don't, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, well, come on, let's talk about it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you guys aren't subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys can be notified when future videos that we have come out and you guys can see those. And if you like today's video, be sure to hit that like button. But carry on. After now, we got that out of the way. We're going to talk about fire safety because we had something happen that uh, required a little bit of an emergency involving fire. So it made us decide that, or made us realize that, man, we probably really need to get trained up on, um, you know, dealing with a situation that involves fire, especially with the kids. But what really got it going is I have a fire extinguisher in my shop, and uh, when I needed it the most, it failed on me. So check it out. Blessed be the Lord, my strength that teaches my hands to war. Am I finished to fight? My goodness, my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer. My shield, and he in whom I trust. I'm Fire Marshal Bell Burns, and frankly, I'm a little pissed. <laughs> Let me show you something! Man. A little bit of a situation there. We do not want this brush pile going up in flames on a dry 80 degree, 88 degree, I almost said 90 today. Um, <laughs> oh, dry autumn day. Let's see what it did to this weed eater. It didn't do much. Here we go, White. Try starting it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh, she might be up there a little. Oh, yeah. What caught her fire? I hit the gas can down below. I was hitting low. So. Yep, there's the crankcase right there. She's done. Whew. We sent her a little too hard there, boys. Well, what'd you guys think? Yeah, so when I went to go use that fire extinguisher, 
it did not work. I got one good little poof out of it and then it froze up. I don't know what was going on, but there was still pressure in it. But the little, the little thing that pushes down, it was froze up. So I had this fire extinguisher for about, I don't know, you're gonna laugh when I say this. I think it's around 15 years I had this fire extinguisher. And um, I've always taken it everywhere I moved. And it's always been in my shop. And it's a good thing that this happened when it did because if I had something in my shop catch on fire that I want to use this, uh, it wouldn't have been there for me. And I would have ran the chance of having my shop go up in flames. And same thing with your house. So where I work usually, or actually not usually, it always happens. We replace fire extinguishers every five years. So keep that in mind that you guys have to keep your fire extinguishers up to date. Complacency really took a factor in the incident that we had. And the reason why we're more aware of what's going on now and we're gonna be replacing our fire extinguishers when it's recommended by the manufacturers because uh, we don't need this happening inside the house. So we are gonna be training with fire extinguishers with the kids. We're gonna teach them how to pull the pin and do the spray method I can't remember the acronym. I think it's called PASS, pull, um, what is it? Pull something, spray, sway, so I can't remember the acronym, but oh, oh, I remember. PASS, pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. I remembered. All right, back to what I was saying. I just remember there was another incident in my life where I had something catch on fire and it was a forklift that I was welding on um, at a job that I, you know, previously worked and I had the I had the forklift catch on fire below me and I went and grabbed the fire extinguisher off the wall and I was squeezing this handle so tight that I couldn't pull the pin out of it and I wound up just using the hose to put the fire out but uh there was a one of those instances where you have to just calm down and think about what you're doing and get the situation under control now my son he did very well he, uh, he listened to direction. If you guys noticed in the video when I said, go get the firing extinguisher, and he said, where? He didn't stick around and wait. He just ran up there because he knew mom would be up there, and he and she would tell him where the fire extinguisher is, So, which is why we're going to train on where they're at and how to use them. Now, this one, it still had pressure on it, but don't ask me why or how I found out it had pressure on it. Uh, that, uh, yeah, we found out it had pressure on it. It was just the valve that was stuck, and so, yeah. But I hope it's a lesson learned. I know we learned a lesson here uh, with this incident that we had. It was a good time shooting the film and making a video on this and how, uh, you know, we learned from this. We're going to take some stuff from this. First time for emergency for my son, you know, I was pretty calm. He stayed pretty calm. It was a good thing my buddy Brent had that fire steering chair in his back of his truck, even though my son was like, two seconds behind him with the other fire extinguisher but needless to say it's a learning lesson and we're going to take something from it so i hope you guys take something from it too so if you guys like this video be sure to subscribe hit the like button and uh i hope i see you on the next episode see you later guys